Six athletes, though, over nine points. Move ahead now with uh, Shiho Saito from Japan. And the Japan team has historically always fielded very strong Tai Chi competitors. Jump front kick into a jump outside kick. Jump front stretch kick into a single leg balance. There was a slight hop there. That's going to cost her points. Obvious difference in the body shapes between the southern athletes and the Tai Chi athletes. Is there an optimum body shape for the disciplines? Ten years ago, I would have said yes. Now you'd be surprised. You've got guys that are coming in, guys and girls that are coming into each event from all different shapes and sizes. Um, typically speaking, uh, for southern athletes, you probably want to be more proportionate. The, the taller or lankier you are, um, the more you just have to pay attention to your movements because, um, you know, extension, body position, posture, uh, when you're a taller athlete or have longer limbs, you know, a slight bend will look significantly different yeah, than um, somebody who's more proportionate. In Tai Chi, it kind of tends to seem the opposite. I mean, you, it's still, you know, the difficulty movements are hard in, 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 their, in their own, but um, Tai Chi is a lot, has a lot more flowing movements, big arm uh, movements. So, you know, the taller, the taller you are, it tends to look a little bit better. Also, uh, elegant. Yeah, the, generally Tai Chi athletes have long sleeve silks, so you don't see the elbows bend as much. But again, a lot of these athletes nowadays, they're breaking the mold. I mean, you can take any body shape and I mean, you can find one in just about any event being successful. Something I noticed with Tai Chi, there's more emphasis on sort of fluidity and uh, elegance, whereas the Southern disciplines are more about power and energy. Yeah, it, it's funny the, the, the way that the uh, athletes develop as they compete, compete the muscle mass is uh, Nunchun Southern Fist competitors have a lot of upper body strength just because it's so much explosive upper body movement versus Tai Chi. Uh, it's probably extremely difficult for them to find a pair of nice fitting pants because their <laughs> legs develop huge quad muscles. And it's the baggy too. flowing uh, uniforms. Fourth place for Shiho Saito. Yeah, 